How is everyone doing today? Uh, my name is Odie Matthews. Welcome back or returning or for the first time to my channel on this website that's called www. I'm finally in a nice space that doesn't suck dot com slash YouTube dot edu and today on this day we are going to look at the most requested bag I've had on this channel because it just came out and their Kickstarter by the time this video comes out will be over for their new bag and that is the Boundary Supply I don't know how to say the name of this Aegis duffel bag. Let's get into this thing. Okay, again, I'm not sure how to say that name. I believe it's like Aegis or Aegis or A-E-G-I-S. I'm not sure how to pronounce it, but I do know how to use it. We're gonna get that in just a second. But first off, I just wanna say, uh, finally made it. I finally finished my move. Um, it was insane and I hated every minute of it. And I finally set up a new office studio, which maybe as like a bonus, I'll show you guys how I kind of set up my giant bag collection, which I had to get rid of some of my bags, which was well, kind of a bummer, but you know, probably don't need to take like 40 something bags into a two bedroom apartment. That's not the smartest thing in the world, but I finally set up like a little office studio for myself and my fiance so she can work from home and I can record YouTube videos. So super stoked about that. So if you guys want to see something about that, let me know. I'll, I'll show you what I did with my bags. I'm pretty, pretty proud of that. But uh, I just wanted to say thank you for all the support and questions. I had a couple people ask me if I was still alive because I mentioned I was going to move in my last video or two videos ago now and um, I never posted anything. I have, at the time of this recording, I put out a baboon uh, video just in the middle of the week because it's something I was trying to get done editing and my hard drive broke. So it's probably why it's not going to be like a cool fancy intro like I usually have. It's not that fancy at the beginning of this video. So it's just been a complete mess, but we're here. We made it. Um, so I apologize for the delay in releasing videos. So I'm just going to release two this week. I guess so enough of all of this you're here to talk to see this boundary supply duffel bag not not here by my life so let's let's talk about it okay so boundary supply had a Kickstarter for their uh, chino pants I don't have my pair yet still patiently waiting but they added the arc light sling and the duffel bag but I got my duffel bag and I have a lot to say about this thing because there's a lot of cool things that boundary supply has done on this duffel bag okay so this is their uh, Agus duffel bag, like I said, I'm gonna read you off some materials on this thing because for one, one thing that Boundary Supply has always been good on, whether it's on their Arant, their Prima, when I got a chance to see their Aris system that's coming out, their materials have always been and continue to be super high grade, durable, feel great, look great, and they always seem to just kind of impress and never seem to wear. I've had my Prima for a very long time, since almost since it came out. And like it's still in like tip top shape. Like it's incredible. This is kind of the same material. This is the same material as the Prima, if I'm not mistaken. But to be exact, we got the 420 high tenacity Hypalon, the 500D nylon Kodra with barricade DWR, and YKK zippers with Hypalon zipper holes. But let's talk about this. This is probably gonna be a long video because I've got a lot to say, and there's a lot of cool things to cover on this. I want to be as detailed as possible. Okay, so we cover the materials. DWR, you've got the weather guard zips. You've got YKK zippers with these nice uh, zipper pulls. It's gonna be kind of difficult from far away to show, but just two wonderful zippers up top here. Just wonderful, great zippers that open wonderful, and you got this nice wide shell opening, which we'll get to the contents of what's inside this thing here shortly. So you've got those two great zipper pulls, and then the only other zipper you have is on one of the uh, two side pockets you have, uh, one underneath this little like uh, like weather wing flap, you have another YKK, and I apologize because you do have another zip on the shoe compartment here underneath this magnetic lash strap as well. So zippers and material are great. Now we like to cover handles and straps on this, and this has three different things for that and three different modes of carry. And I love this specific feature on this duffel bag. A lot of duffel bags, when they have like the backpack carry straps, they're usually really uncomfortable because they go for the lightest, thinnest material like that webbing street, the street belt, seat belt material. But this, they've gone all out and they've added this padding as like an additional feature on this bag. So this backpack straps also double 
as padding. So let's go ahead and get to that. So you've got your normal duffel bag carry handles here, right? This is the typical like seatbelt material with a little bit of foam in the middle. Please. Holding, you know, just a normal duffel bag material. Also, this is the first time I've actually gotten like sit down, do a review instead of standing. I just absolutely love it. This is fantastic. Anyways, um, so what you have also is this comes with this is the duffel bag strap and you can do it this way or this way you know, one of those two x ways if you want to um that's the two typical ways there's um four points on this bag to strap it uh this is just typical duffel bag carry like you see i'm not going to bother clipping that it. it does have i can actually get closer to the camera now it has these for connection you got a big one and you've got small one hopefully you can see those and then i'll try to show you real quick you've got points on the bottom here and then up top here you can't really see them super well but i'll do my best to kind of show you where they're at right there on both sides and that's where you can connect your duffel bag strap now for the cool feature the backpack straps you pull these things out right here right these are the backpack straps. And the thing is they didn't, Boundary didn't skimp on the materials on these because these are super comfortable. This thing in backpack mode is just as comfortable almost as a regular backpack. These straps have that nice foam material. These almost act as a little bit of a load lifter but not a lot so you don't get that feature. They have the same clip that they clip down here. Adjustable, no sternum strap or anything like that but super, super comfortable straps. I will actually hook this thing uh, up so you can see what it looks like on myself, but please be uh, warned, I am wearing gray on gray on gray because I am lazy and didn't feel like uh, didn't feel like putting regular clothes on for this. I'm not gonna lie, I don't have anything on underneath this hoodie. You know, I just was like, um, I'm just gonna, just gonna go for it. Okay, so I've got these backpack straps on. Now I'm gonna stand up. My head's probably gonna get cut off. Now I'm roughly uh, like 5'8", 165 pounds. And this is backpack mode on, on, on me with this thing. And I mean, it fits, it's like a normal backpack. It's just, it looks like you have a duffel bag on your back. But the difference is, where's my microphone? Because I always forget where it's at. The difference is, this is something that like, if you're a commuter, right and you're gonna be you want to take a duffel bag like gym work things like that but then you might have to get on a train or something like that you have to walk a long distance you can whip these bad boys out and then kind of do it backpack mode to cover more ground a little bit quicker instead of having that the shoulder strap feature which i'll go ahead and hook that up for you but this is the backpack mode now one thing that some people have asked if you're uh if you've got me on like uh on uh, boundary supply behind the scenes Facebook, I posted a couple of videos, or not videos, pictures of this, and I'm gonna go ahead, and, I'm gonna sit back down so you can, you can see my wonderful smiling face. But, uh, some people ask me like, what do you do with these? So, the where these straps are stored, you got two magnets to kind of keep them down. You know, that, that magnets right there? So what I typically do is I take these handles, and I just kind of do like a little, a little tuck in there, right? And I'm sure there might there might have been a video. Um, I kind of just back battery supplies Kickstarters without ever really watching the videos because I'm I, I tr they're one of the companies like them and a couple others that released Kickstarters like Nomadic and and Wandered and like Packed One like the Packed One bag that came out like I just back them I don't even care I I don't need to know what it looks like you know well it's fine it's no big deal <laughs> so yeah you can actually pack those duffel bag straps where the backpack straps. Go, so then they're not in your way when you're in backpack mode. Okay, and then to store them back in is almost just as easy as it was to take them out. You just, you just push them down into these little where they came from kind of thing. Because you really don't have to unhook the top part of these unless, I guess unless you wanted to maybe connect your duffel bag strap there which I'm gonna I decided in, in the middle of doing this even though I should have planned this video out better I'm gonna go ahead and hook the duffel bag strap up just so you can get an idea of what that looks like because that might be one of the main driving points for you you never know you never know what the reason somebody might want to 
buy a bag is, you know? Uh, so let me go ahead and hook that strap up for you and show you that as well. But they tuck away nice and neat with those little magnets. All right, so with this duffel bag strap, you got the two big lash points towards the back of the bag. You do cross body like this, and then there's some smaller lash points just below, kind of where I showed you earlier, right below where the backpack straps are. And that is where this strap goes. And then one more time, I will stand up and show you in duffel bag mode. Now it depends on, you know, if you're a righty or a lefty, how you would obviously kind of set this up. Is it, it's not your typical duffel bag kind of carry. Um, this is how I like to do it, where it's kind of a little bit slanted towards my body. And then I got these straps right here. So when I'm going, you know, when I went on my trip, you know, and just right there, you know, TSA table and all. So that's the duffel bag strap. You can do cross body on the wall. I do usually with duffel bags, um, you know, like one shoulder. I don't usually do the cross body, but uh, both definitely work and both are comfortable as far as the strap goes. I wish there was padding, a little bit of a padding, like, and they could even release this boundary. You know, you could, you could release a little, you know, Velcro thing that just has a little bit more padding for your shoulder when it's, when it's in this mode, you know, cause like you got some straps that have the padding on the duffel bag straps. And I mean, that's what I wish this had. If you're going to go for full duffel bag mode, that would be that would be killer to have on this for sure. Okay, and that definitely took a while to go over all the straps, but I think they're definitely worth worth highlighting each and every feature on those because that is the main driving point of what makes this such a unique duffel bag, in my opinion. So with that, I will walk you through all of the pockets. Okay, so the first thing I want to talk about is the two outside pockets because these are the questions that I see the most. One of these outside pockets has a little. It's got a, a button. And then on the bottom, it's got a zip, and this is where your luggage pass-through can be utilized. This is where you would put it over your, your suitcase and roll it with you. So you got that snap up top here, right? So you got the snap up here, and then it's got the zipper on the bottom. Now, this is a great little pocket I have found to throw things like notebooks. And portable charges might exactly little portable charger. This is a good pocket if you leave it unbuttoned to throw phones. I found uh, my iPhone 7 Plus and my Google Pixel XL phone both fit perfectly in this pocket. Just a nice little pocket to, to throw the things on your go. This is the perfect pocket for your boarding pass, your passport if you need it, your wallet, your keys. This is a perfect throwaway security pocket while you're going through security if this is going to be your carry-on when you're flying. So one of the questions that I got uh, recently was when you're in backpack mode, do you have to worry about anything falling out of this pocket? Short answer, no. Long answer, unless it's super small. This is not a pocket where the way that these openings are when it snaps, I wouldn't put anything that could fit through those. You want something that's gonna get caught by the button and make sure it doesn't fall out. This isn't the kind of pocket I would throw little items in, like little teeny tiny like like my AirPod Pros, I would not put them in this pocket. Because if you're in backpack mode, I don't think, and don't hold me to this, I don't think anything would fall out. But to be safe, I wouldn't put anything that would that would come past here if it's buttoned. Does that make sense? And also on this side, you've got two uh, last straps. So you can have a yoga mat, your tripod, uh, your, your jacket can fit on this side. A nice little... Their battery supplies, little, you know, flash, flash things never disappoint. Just a nice little, little, little guy here. You can, two of them, you know, yoga mat, tripod, that whole good deal. Now on the other side here, we've got their boundary logo and this nice little, uh, the, what's this called again? Hypalon? What is it is? Might be losing my mind. This side is your zippered pocket and this is where you put those smaller items. Now. I have not put smaller items in this one. I wanted to show you the size of this pocket because spoiler alert, no laptop compartment and no uh, tablet place either. So with this side pocket, you can unzip it. Now what I've done is I have actually been able to fit easily without any resistance my iPad mini. So that is about the size of this pocket. Now, if you didn't want to put something like a tablet in here that would fit I cannot really show you easily, but in here, you've got two mesh guys. 
can see two of these and then just the regular size of the pocket. Just a nice little, little bit of organization bits and then you've also got a spot for their uh, nip, not nippy nips, nip clip things, like their keychain and uh, like their port kit has these on it for if you want to put your keychain, if you have the nip clip keychain from Boundary, you could throw it in there and keep your keys easily in this pocket. So there's not much to it, like I said, just two mesh dividers and a pocket about the size of an iPad mini. So if you had a smaller tablet, that's the sleeve that I would personally go to for it because if I'm traveling, that's the first thing I'm grabbing is my iPad and I'm watching like the Grand Tour or you know, like something that I downloaded on Netflix that I'll probably watch 10 minutes of and then turn it off and watch something else that I've seen a million times. Because that's how Netflix works. Okay, moving around this bag, you've got on both sides, their magnetic quick lock releases, right? So this is to kind of with the expandability this, this duffel will expand out to 34 liter, but you can kind of cinch these down and keep it nice and tight or, you know, pack it way, 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 way out. What it also does is on the back of the bag, you've got your shoe compartment. And there's a couple of cool things I like about the shoe compartment. On the inside, there's a little bit more to show you, but it overall is a typical, typical shoe compartment for a duffel bag at first glance. Now, what I put in here is my suave packable shoes check out my review on these best travel shoe best packable shoe i've ever owned i absolutely love them i wear them way too much just so you got that nice waterproof material you know like what you get in like a dry bag for a duffel bag kind of shoe compartment super super nice like i said you've got this zipper on it on the outside and the only thing is if you want to get into it you have to undo the magnetic clip on this side so if you undo both of these, you get the full expansion of this duffel bag, right? Looks like a weird banana that ate too many other bananas. One other thing I want to mention real quick before I open it up and go into the, make sure I'm still recording my audio because that would really, really suck. Okay, good, we're still, we're still here. Uh, I really want to show the bottom of this bag just real quick. There's nothing fancy about it, but I just, I really like the material. And I like that it just simply says boundary. They have the X-Pack version of this, which is like their stronger material. They have different colors of this. I personally like this tan. Uh, I think it really pops, personally. Um, I have way too many black bags, so I'm trying to get out there in the color scheme. Okay, so let's open this thing up, and I'm gonna show you everything that's inside. Like I said, there's just two nice zippers, wonderful zipper pulls, nice little, like, kind of um, open wide mouth opening, open wide mouth opening on this thing that allows you to just see everything that's inside. Now I kind of had this out for like a small trip if I was gonna go away for like three to five days. There's plenty of room still in here. Uh, during my move, and I actually have a picture on my Instagram, you can go follow me or just look at it. Um, and I, I wish I would've saved the one that I took. We didn't use boxes when we moved. We just kind of threw all our stuff in my bags. So I was like, we have so many bags. We don't really need to buy moving boxes if we have, you know, giant duffel bags and stuff like that. So I actually had this thing packed out like to where I was like, freaking to get it to, to close, you know, because I was like throwing all our clothes and knickknacks and things like that in our bags and throwing it in the back of my Jeep. So uh, it will hold a lot. I do know that it can be packed out, but for the sake of how I typically like to review bags that I go on travel, I'm only gonna take typically what I would take on travel to show you A, kind of like how much I take and B, like how much is room if you use this kind of certain loadout. So with all of that, I will show you I've got just a hoodie, right there on top, a little bit too big of a hoodie to kind of put through the last straps that are on on this side. Um, I typically don't put jackets through last straps. Some people do. Personally, I don't. I don't want them getting dirty and gross and icky, especially in the world. Right now, you don't want people coughing on your jacket. Um, and then for my tech pouch that I've been just kind of dabbling with for a little bit is my Topo Design pouches. Uh, links to some of these products below. But uh, yeah, my Topo Design pouch is where I put my cables and like little cords and chargers and things like that. Okay, and then the main piece that I have in here is just my Peak Design uh, packing cube uh, packed out for my trip with uh, pants, shirts, underwear, and socks. Now, I will say Battery Supply has some new packing cubes coming out on their new Kickstarter. Unfortunately, I didn't have a chance to record this before that Kickstarter ended because you can go a la carte. But when those come available, I would look into them. I got to see them while I was there uh, a couple months ago out of the Boundary Supply office before the world caught on fire. Uh, super cool packing cubes. Uh, really love hemp 
Uh, but the Peak Design has been one of my favorites, been my go-to for a while. Fits really nice in here with lots of extra space. With that, before I pull out my dock kit, oh, I also have my Sennheiser PX550 Bluetooth headphones because I um, I like I like those headphones quite a lot. They're I would say they're probably my favorite over the ear that I own, and yes, they are also my only over the ear phone headphone things that I own. So I'm stalling while I try to strap. Okay, anyways, here we go. You can see I have the port kit from Boundary Supply, but it's what is it? It's just sitting right there because in here, you see these little nip knot clip dots on here? Uh, you got a spot to, to, to put them on here, right here. So I um, personally really love this because if I'm gonna travel with a boundary supply product that makes it easier to use their dop kit, I will do that. Otherwise I'll go with like my traditional gravel dop kit. Absolutely love both of those. Um, we're gonna do a dop kit video here soon, probably in the next month. Got a really good idea to kind of showcase a variety of different ones and then kind of show you my personal favorites. But yeah, so this easily just when I'm in, you know, it just right there clips on and then I know that my dock kit is secure and then if I need to get anything out of my dock kit, I just unzip and it is it is right there for the taking. And I can grab one of my like antibacterial body wipes or can grab my nail clippers is just up at the top of my dock kit. I don't know. I don't know if I would ever need to grab nail clippers in public. Please don't clip your nails in public, especially in an airport. That is gross. So yeah, what I really like about that is that they just made it really easy to adapt. And that's, you know, a lot of companies are, are starting to do this where they're making products that can be utilized throughout their line of products. Like if you look at their Iran, there's a wide variety of accessories that go with that. And they've kind of implemented them in this sling as well as the Aris that's coming out. And I believe Arclight even allows some of that. So that's the boundary supply port kit that fits in there. Now, the one thing that I want to show is about the uh, duffel bag. Duffel bag? We're talking about the duffel bag. The shoe compartment, right? So the shoe compartment actually is collapsible on the inside. So I'm going to go ahead and show. You can see where my hand is wiggling. This is the shoe compartment fully packed out. But what you can do here is, you see, this is very, very difficult to do one-handed but there's a little magnetic strip that you can cinch down okay, put it down for a second you can cinch it down and basically tuck away see that can you see that you can basically tuck away your shoe compartment that external this is very how do you look inside a duffel can you see it yet yeah, I don't know it's so difficult man but uh, no, upside down. But yeah, no. So what I'm trying to show you is that basically this duffel bag, duffel bag. I keep calling everything the duffel bag. That's why I don't record at 10 o'clock at night. We need to be at work the next morning. But I was just super excited to get this all set up. So um, I am terribly sorry if this is incoherent. But basically, there's a little. The part of the duffel bag compartment has a magnetic strap. You can lift it up, clip it, and then your that little compartment there becomes non-existent and doesn't take up any space in the internal compartment, which is why I like to travel with my swabs because they don't take up that much space anyways. But again, here is the full chasm of this bag. It's just a nice, huge duffel bag, man. Um, a couple points that I, 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 wanna, I wanna hit on that you might be curious about. There is on the bottom here two little run-through hooks where you could put lights, clip your lights if you're um, if you're a biker and you want to wear this in backpack mode and you're worried, you know, where can I clip my light for my, my bike so people don't hit me going 100 miles an hour in a 20 mile an hour zone because people do that sometimes. You have two little little things here that you can easily hook to to make sure your lights are there. Other than that, I think I hit most of the points that I really want to talk about when it comes to this, this duffel. Next week, the next video I put out is going to be the Pete Design duffel bag. Okay, these are very similar but very different. And I think each one serves a specific purpose. But we're going to talk about the Pete Design next week. And then if you guys want, I can do a side-by-side, -side, beat by beat comparison video of them, which I kind of want to do. So please say that you want me to do that so I have an excuse to do that. So in the realm of duffel bags, I definitely, definitely recommend checking this out. Right now, I believe they're doing pre-orders for May through July because Kickstarter uh, 
is getting their orders out. Uh, so this bag is available on their website. You could do the pre-order. Check it out, man. I, I, I would recommend this one. Uh, I, I, it was hard. It's hard to find things wrong with it. I've been, I've been trying to, and like I said, the, the strap was one of them and you know, uh, <laughs> that was kind of it. And I, you know, I, I try to point out the negatives on, on, on bags. So you know what you're getting into, but with that, if you have any questions, comments, or concerns about something I didn't hit on or something you want more details on when it comes to this duffel bag, let me know in the comments below and I'll do my very best to answer those for you. If there's a product you want me to get my hands on to try to review so you can see what it's like before you buy it, let me know as well and I'll get my best to do my best to, to make that happen. That was the weirdest sentence I've ever put to, together. Um, email me, odmatthewsbags at gmail.com. Questions things, stuff, whatever, man. Let's have a conversation. Let's talk about bags. Let's talk about travel. You know, uh, email me anything you'd like. That's an open channel so I can communicate, have a little bit more of a direct line. Uh, thank you guys again so very much for uh, watching and subscribing and, and liking, which I'm assuming if you're watching this, obviously you're liking and subscribing. It's like, that's the rule too. That's the YouTube rules. It's the way I understand it. That's why I've liked so many videos that are terrible, but you know, that's the rule. If you click on a video, you gotta like it. So, you're stuck. So that's it for this week. Uh, thank you guys again, and I will, I'll see you next time.